Hi, I'm Shweta Panikar. I'm from Hyderabad in India and I live in the Netherlands uh, since the last six years. Um, I'm starting to become a beer sommelier. I'm in level two right now. Um, and uh, I get the opportunity to be uh, in amazing rooms where I get to judge beers and uh, just travel the world, exploring different uh, styles of beers and what uh, different countries are doing because uh, beer is such a versatile drink and um, there's a huge spectrum to it. Um, so there's always more to explore and more to learn. Um, I've worked in packaging before and currently I'm working in sustainability uh, within the beer world as well and um, yeah, that's me. Can you give us a bit uh, of an example of how the craft beer sector has been in India? We hear it's you know, a bit behind the thing because of various tastes and what is the state of the art right now in India? Sure, um, so six years ago when I was still in India I think it was uh, still developing um, as it is now but uh, things have really progressed a lot and um, there's now over a little over 500 breweries in India uh, most of them are of course um, within the larger cities but the quality of beer has gone up significantly and uh, over 85 percent of those breweries are craft and uh, single owned businesses uh, that are of course making the smaller volume but uh, they are pioneering the craft beer space which is very very promising and very exciting um, of course there's um, around 15 percent is the larger beer brands which we all know across the world but um, I think the majority is now with sitting within the craft beer space and it's um, the quality just keeps getting better every time I go back and I visit brew pubs and breweries it's um, it's only on the up and up and the quality has become really good uh, the only thing where we're lacking is I think there's just not enough small packaging options for breweries to be able to um, make their beer available across the nation. And of course, also because India is such a massive geography, so it's, it's also harder to achieve that. Um, but I do see it coming. It's not, um, it's not easily accessible yet, but there is a lot of promise for it. And with the quality increasing constantly, um, I think a small packaging will be the solution to make sure that uh, Indian craft beer gets the space it deserves. What about the drinking public? Have they learned uh, to understand the different tastes or is, were they ready for it? I, I definitely think they're ready for it. Um, Indians love to spend on experiences um, more than anything else. Um, if you meet an average uh, Indian from uh, an Indian city, um, they will always tell you that they love spending on experiences, going to bars, restaurants, um, and if they can afford it, to travel. And that's when we also start to pack on the um, knowledge and experience within the beer space. Um, and I think uh, Indians want it and they're ready for it. Um, and they're being given that. I think Bira 91 is really acing it in that space because now you get uh, you get to be able to taste them internationally uh, in the US but also in Europe. Um, so I think it's just that there's a little bit of more funding needed for the industry and also a little bit more exposure needed uh, but India is definitely ready and um, we we like to explore different things it's a very adoptive market um, very open to new experiences and new flavors are there any say traditional locally owned beers or ingredients that are being exploited to make it a truly Indian craft market? Um, I think right now the, the education curve is still on making beers that would uh, do well internationally and that someone uh, who's aware of uh, the beer world um, would be able to access locally. Uh, so there's, there's not, um, at least I'm not aware of um, any peculiar Indian uh, flavors going into the beer. I think right now the focus is on making world-class uh, styles that are popular uh, across the globe. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure uh, there's there's just so many ingredients and so so much fresh produce that can be utilized in India. So I think it's only going to come uh, and it's only going to get better with time. Can we expect a masala beer? Oh my God, that would be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I would love that. Um, and I think there's there's so much space for it because it would be such such an identifier for the Indian market. Um, 
Personally, right now, I don't know if anyone's doing that, but uh, I'm sure someone will. In terms of the market, is there the bars and the craft bars to support the bar, or is it mainly, are they really looking international, or is it developing the local market? I think they are de trying to develop locally first, because of course the, the population is mammoth, right? So if, if you can ace the Indian market, you're already putting yourself in extremely good stead. Um, so I think it... Uh, the idea should be to focus on the Indian market first because for the longest time we've only had very few brands um, or maybe one uh, for the people in my age group who can relate we grew up with just the one brand you know um, so I think right now the focus is on making sure that the beer that they're making is of world-class quality but also accessible to all of India and and then we will get the Indian flavors and uh, the international pursuits but right now the ones that I know that are focusing on international pursuits off the top of my mind that would be uh, beer 91 like I said thank you so much for giving an it's entirely my pleasure thank, thank you so much thank you